Miami Dolphins tight end Mike Jasicki has become the favorite to get the franchise tag instead of defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, as reported by Daniel Oyafusi from the Miami Herald. ESPN is said to have reported Jasicki as the prime candidate for the franchise tag, and when we break down the numbers it really makes sense. Emmanuel Ogba franchise tag. Emmanuel Ogba had a career year with the Miami Dolphins, leading the entire league in batted passes according to NFL Network. He was also one of the most dominant defensive players on the team and in the NFL. The 28-year-old defensive end was seen as the favorite to be franchise tagged instead of Mike Jasicki due to his impact on the defense, and the possibility of Jasicki not fitting in McDaniel's offense. Ogba by the numbers. 9 sacks, 9 tackles for loss, 1 forced fumble, 12 batted passes, 41 tackles. However, the franchise tag for defensive end is predicted to be priced in around $20.8 million according to Over the Cap. The Miami Dolphins have over $60 million in cap space, but that tag would surely take a big hit on it before free agency even starts. Offering Ogba a long-term deal won't be an option since he will likely break the bank testing free agency. Mike Jasicki franchise tag. Mike Jasicki also had a career year with the Miami Dolphins, the 26-year-old tight end recorded a career-high 780 yards, career-high 112 targets, and career-high 73 receptions. However the noise in the media, online, and even rumblings within the building pointed to Jasicki not being a correct fit for the 2022 Miami Dolphins. McDaniel's offense is a power offense with run-first mentality, every player on the field has to be able to block. Blocking has always been Jasicki's biggest weakness, so much so that the previous Dolphins offenses were almost pre-set to pass with Jasicki on the field, and pre-set to run when he wasn't. That would make him a big liability in the McDaniels offense. But can he improve his game? Going into year 5 of his career I doubt he can get significantly better at blocking, but don't forget Jasicki has alien-like catching ability and has become one of Tua Tungavailoa's favorite weapons. On top of that the franchise tag for tight end is predicted to be priced in around $10.8 million according to Over the Cap, making him a much cheaper option to keep. Also Mike Jasicki is only 26 years old, if he has a breakout season in 2022 he could be extended to become a long-term asset in Miami for a while before turning 30. The Miami Dolphins can hit free agency looking for a veteran safety to pair with second-year star, Javon Holland, that is if they want to. The offense is in desperate need of being built up, but that shouldn't come by neglecting the defense and adding to it. News coming from the Kansas City Chiefs camp is that longtime defensive player Tyron Matthew will be testing free agency. This is a great opportunity for the Miami Dolphins to pick up the Honey Badger. The Chiefs are also building their offense by placing the tag on tackle Orlando Brown Jr., they are also over the cap and might not be able to fit Tyron Matthew back in when all is said and done. The Miami Dolphins have one of the better pair of cornerbacks in the league with Byron Jones and Xavier Howard, and probably the best on the team going back to Sam Madison and Patrick Sertain, who are now both coaches on the team. Is it time to do the same at the safety position? Pair up two formidable safeties, Tyron Matthew and Javon Holland. There already is a veteran safety on the team, Jason McCourty, he is 34 years old and probably on his way out, so this would be his replacement. Most likely, Jason helped in the development of the other safeties. Matthew would be doing the same. Matthew won't come cheap, it is projected that it will take 15 million to land him, and he will be turning 30. The experience he provides and possible development to the other backs is invaluable. Even though the Miami Dolphins have a huge cap space they can draw from, it would still be wise to try to work out some kind of a deal to bring that price down. The Miami Dolphins may not run two safety sets all that much but, this is a defense that uses a lot of disguised blitzes and other trickery along those lines. They also have unexpected injuries throughout the season, with players being versatile and being able to fill in. When McCourty went down due to injury that's how rookie Holland got his chance, he has come a long way and should have someone as versatile as he is to be paired up with. There are other young safeties on the team who could benefit under the tutelage of Matthew like Brandon Jones, who just might need some seasoning, it looks like he is the closest to being the next versatile player to be brought up. As far as what his intentions might be, and if he would want to come here. NFL Network Mark Sessler has speculated Matthew to the Jets. So if he would go there, it's most likely that he would also want to be on the Miami Dolphins.